Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky question. It's a rates of change and differential equations question, and I know some students find this difficult. It's particularly the ones where you have to find the equation or the differential equation, should I say, to start with. Okay, so what do we have? We have a cylindrical tank uh, that contains some water. Uh, the tank has an internal diameter of eight meters. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the key information and an, an internal height of uh, 4.2 meters. Uh, water is flowing into the tank at a rate of 0 0.6 pi meters cubed per minute. There's a tap at the bottom of the tank at time t minutes after the tap has been opened. The depth of the water is h. Okay, yeah, can we see that there? It's h there. Um, the water is leaving the tank at a rate of this per minute. Show that uh, dh by dt is equal to um, uh, this expression here. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is try and write down some formulas that I know. So let's work out a formula for the volume of the tank, of the water in the tank. Well, it's a cylinder, so a cylinder is pi times the um, radius squared, which is going to be 4 squared, times by the height. So the volume is going to be pi times 4 squared times by h, because that's the how high up the particular, um, what is the substance? Is it just water? Yeah, just water, okay. Um, so we could write that as uh, V is equal to 16 pi H and then we can differentiate that with respect to H because H varies so it is a variable so we can differentiate it that gives me 16 pi okay right that's useful um, aha we also know the rate the rate at which water so volume is flowing into so increasing with respect to time so rate means with respect to time so i can write that the um, change in the volume with respect to time is equal to um, well we've got this coming in so 0 0.6 pi is positive uh, but we've also got something leaving as well so minus 0 0.15 pi h because it's leaving so the volume is changing with respect to time um, because we've got this coming in and we've got that coming out okay great um, so now what i need to do is figure out what i'm actually looking for which is dh by dt so i can write here that dh by dt is equal to and by the chain rule um, I can have dv by dt, so I've got t on the bottom here, and it's exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll need to have h on the top, and I want to cancel this dv as well. So I'm going to have to multiply it by dh on top and dv on bottom, and that would hold true that it's still dh over dt, and we have all of these things at our disposal. So dv by dt is this 0 0.6 pi minus uh, 0 0.15 pi h. To put that in brackets, and we're multiplying that by um, dh by dv, which is the reciprocal of dv by dh. So that's 1 over 16 pi. Um, okay, so let's... Um, where we can cancel out the pies here because uh, all the terms in this bracket have a pi and then we're dividing by a pi here as well so we're going to have 0 0.6 minus 0 0.15 h over 16 and we can times this by uh, 10 which will give me 6 minus 1.5 h over 160 and then we could times that again by 2, and that will give us the 12 minus 3h over 320, which is what we're looking for. Okay, perfect. Let's grab some more space.
Okay, now we are told that the depth of the water in the tank is 0 0.5 when the tap is opened. So that's when t is equal to 0, because it says here that um, time t is after the tap has been opened. Uh, find the time taken for the depth of water in the tank to reach 3.5 meters. So we're going to solve this differential equation essentially. So the first thing I like to do is multiply by the um, the variable um, on the bottom, which is dt. Uh, so that gives me uh, this uh, dt. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I want to move the h term over uh, to the other side. Um, so at the moment, it's kind of bracketed here with this 12. So I'm going to have to divide the whole thing by that. So it will be um, 1 over 12 minus 3h dh um, is equal to 1 over 320 dt. Okay, and then what we can do is we could integrate both sides now that we've got the variables on the right sides. So what's this going to integrate to? Well, we can use um, the what I call the Lun rule uh, when you have a function of x uh, and you have a derivative on the top, um, then that integrates to Lun of the function of x. Uh, but the derivative is not quite the derivative on top. Um, in fact, we'd have to multiply through by um, minus 3, wouldn't we? because the derivative of the bottom is minus 3. Uh, so to counteract that, I'm going to take a minus a third out of the integral, so they balance. OK, so now that integrates directly to minus a third ln of 12 minus 3h. And then the right-hand side, well, that integrates to just 1 over 320 t, because it's with respect to t, and then we put plus c on this side. We, we only need to put it on one side, uh, so it's always just going to put it on that side for ease. Okay, um, let's get rid of that. And now we need to sub in our limits. Um, so we're told that the depth of the water, so um, in the tank, so h is 0 0.5. So subbing in, I get minus a third ln of um, if h is 0 0.5, then this will give me 10.5. Uh, that's right. Uh, t is 0, so that just gives me c. Okay, perfect. So going over here, we can write our new um, equation is minus uh, a third ln 12 minus 3h is equal to 1 over 320t. And then minus a third. Oh no, don't run out of space. <laughs> there we go. Minus a third um, ln of uh, 10.5. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay. So next, we. What do we need to do next? Well, we need to find. Um, we need to substitute in. It says the time taken for it to reach uh, 3.5. So we need the, the height now to be equal to 3.5. And then we need to rearrange for t. Uh, so we're going to write um, minus a third uh, ln of 12. And then 3.5 times minus 3 is minus 10.5. So that just gives me 1.5 in here when I sub in. Uh, that's equal to this minus a third ln uh, 10.5. Um, we can add that over. Comes positive on this side, like so. Um, we could even collect the luns. They're both uh, times by a third, so we can do 10.5 on top because that's the positive ln, and this is the negative, so we divide through by that one. Um, and that's equal to this. So t is equal to 
320 over 3 ln of 10.5 over 1.5. Perfect. But we need to calculate that because it has asked us the question. So we need to give it an actual a value rather than exact form. Okay, so I've just put that into my calculator uh, and that has given me 207.6. Uh, and that will be minutes because just just need to go back and just check um, that it is measured in, in minutes. So perfect. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.